a second one on probability and then understanding complements of probability. So if you toss a coin, it could be either land on heads or tails. And these two events are called complementary events. Complementary events are two events in which either one of, or the other must happen, but they cannot happen at the same time. So it's 50% chance that you're going to get heads and 50% chance that you're going to get tails. And those add up to 100%. You're going to get either heads or you're going to get tails. You're not going to not get anything and you're not going to get both heads and tails. So the sum of the probability of an event and its complement is 1 or 100%. That 50% plus 50%. Or you can look at it as heads is one out of two, and tails is one out of two, and one half plus one half equals one. So go ahead and pause and write down any of this that you need in your notes to remember and understand what a complement is. I'm going to work in a problem situation. John has eight cards in a deck. So these are the cards, and two are kings, four are queens, and two are jacks. What is the probability of picking a jack out? Well, there's two jacks out of eight cards. Well, I need to simplify that. So I'm saying one out of every four cards, and if you think about the ratios, that would be true. One out of four and one out of four would be jacks. And one-fourth or one-quarter as a percent would be 25%. And then the complement to that is how many are not jacks. So not jacks is one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of eight, which simplifies to three-fourths, and that's 75%. Three-fourths, three-quarters out of a dollar, 75 cents, 75%. So what's the sum of the two probabilities? Well, one-fourth plus three-fourths equals one, or 25 plus 75 equals 100%. And you can also look at this as um, a jack is one-fourth, and a not jack is one minus one-fourth. That would be a not jack, and that equals three-fourths. Okay, so now let's look at an example with marbles. And we've got, we've got to see how many total marbles we have. So we have 5 plus 8 plus 7 is 20. And it says, what's the probability of not drawing a red? Well, I could draw blue or green, and that adds up to 12 out of 20. And if I want to find out what that is as a decimal, I can go to 100, and 20 times 5 is 100, and 12 times... 5 is 60, 60 hundredths, so that's 60 hundredths, or 60 percent. And then what's the probability of not blue and not green? And so that would actually be the probability of red. And so that's 8 out of 20, and take that to 100, times, times 5, times 5 is 40, 40 hundredths, which is 40 hundredths, or 40 percent. So it's, this, it's just building on all that um, percents and ratios that we've been doing. And so the probability of either getting red or blue or green adds up to 100, and um, and, and, the per, and the decimals add up, and the percents, and, and the um, fractions add up. So the morning newspaper reported a 25% chance of snow. Find the probability as a fraction. Well, 25% would be 25 out of 100. Simplify that. Divide by 25, divide by 25. One fourth, one out of four. And identify the complement as a fraction. Well, the complement, I know it, if, if, if it says 25% chance it's going to rain then or snow, 
75% chance it's not going to snow, but it says as a fraction. So I can actually take 1 minus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. And so as a fraction, it's 3 fourths, which is 75%. And what is the complement as a percent? Well, I've written it right here. It's 75%. And it's just 100% all that can happen minus 25% equals 75%. this video and it's got a couple of questions here that you're going to answer and have for class tomorrow and um, you'll you'll do this as a warm-up to make sure that you watch the video and that you're